the entire thing for lunch! I had to. I ate what you made for lunch for breakfast. Don't blame me because you're a meal behind. Do you know what I'm gonna do when I get my hands on yes. you? That's why I'm running. Don't go into the kitchen. I just washed the floor and there. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Ow. So now, what are we going to do for dinner? Vito's? <laughs> Is there any point in me objecting? Let's go to Vito's. Vito's, what a fine idea. Almost there, guys. Almost doesn't get you pizza. <laughs> Look at all the people waiting to get into Mama Mini's pizzeria. Think how long the line would be if the food there was any good. That place is crowded. I'll bet Fido's is packed. <gasps> huh? <sighs> Vito, where are all your customers? Over at Mama Mini's. Where else? Business has been terrible for weeks. Months. <laughs> That's Vito's girlfriend, Angelica. She was in an episode season before last. But Vito, why? Your food is so good and Mama Meanie's is so, so... I'll tell you uh, how bad it is. I won't eat it. Well, I won't have seconds. Mama Meanie, he steals the customers away from me and every great artist of Italian food around the world. This is commercials. They are dazzling. Hypnotic. Gee, I'd like to see one of those. When is one on? When is one not on? There's a probably one on TV right at this minute. For the best Italian food in the world, go to Mama Mini's! Want the best Italian food anywhere? Then go see Mama Mini's! If you are craving some great fettuccine, you need to visit your friend Mama Mini. Gee, we ought to go eat at Mama Meanie's. The food looks so good. You see what happens? Even you forget what good Italian cooking is like. But, but Vito's, Vito's pizza, pizza is, is better. better. All of the little restaurants are going out of business. Or Mama Meanie is taking them over. That's because they're smart. And if you're smart, you'll take my offer and sell me this place before it winds up being a dry cleaner. <gasps> Mama Mini! Every pound of him. No, Signor Mini. <laughs> Vito is not selling his restaurant to you. Not now, not ever. <laughs> we'll see about that. Gruber, Louie? Right here, Mr. Meanie. <laughs> yeah, right here, Mr. Meanie. Your special operatives are right here to do whatever you need Louis, us to do shut whenever up. you need us. A... I'm shutting up. Oh. I've told you boys a thousand times. Call me Mama. Yes, yes Mama. Mama. Show him my offer for this failing restaurant. Yes, yes Mama. Mama. I do not care what you offer me. Vito is an artist. Vito paints in the marinara. Vito sculpts in the pasta. I will not sell out for any amount of money. <laughs> Vito. Tell me the place and it's here. What do you say? I will tell you what I say. <laughs> I say, get out of my restaurant. 
<laughs> Come on, Oatster. Looks like this place has become self-service. This is my restaurant, and it will never be your restaurant. Get out, get out, and stay out. If I can't buy him, the next best thing is to put him out of business. Gruber, do what you have to. I'm going out to inspect one of my thousands of restaurants worldwide. Yes, sir, Mama. Louie, the rats. <laughs> oh, boy, the rats. Hello, Board of Health. I'd like to report a restaurant that's full of rats. It's a major health hazard. When did I first notice this? Oh, in about two minutes. You'll be right over? Good. Okay, come on, guys. You have work to do. Angelica, my love, you do believe I am right to turn down all of that money? Vito? You do not believe I am right. You are a fine man, Vito. It's just we have not had one customer eating here for days. <laughs> we have not had one human customer eating here for days. <sighs> I do not give up. I just have to cook so well that in spite of Mamma Mini's advertising, people will flock here. What do you say to that? I see. <laughs> Rats! There has never been a rat in Vito's pizzeria. There will never be a rat in Vito's pizzeria. I will get you more bread in one moment, Signore. I do not understand why she... <laughs> hey, will you hold it down? There are animals here trying to eat. Uh, uh, Vito, there are rats running all over your restaurant. Dozens of them. The cat. I need to find the cat to get rid of these rodents. Where am I going to find the cat? <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I don't do that kind of work. <laughs> Inspector, if he comes in here and sees all these rats. Garfield's great at rodents. It's been years since they've seen a single mouse in our home. <laughs> you don't know where to look. Garfield, we'll keep the health inspector outside while you get rid of the rats. Come on, Vito. <gasps> hey, you. Uh, any chance of you guys all leaving if I ask politely? Uh, no. <laughs> Odie, I'm going to do what I can here, but I need to send you out on a special mission. All right, now, listen carefully. You got it? Yeah, but I'm just here to check on a report of rats in your restaurant, Vito. <laughs> rats? In my restaurant? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you did not see any rats inside, uh, did you, Senor Arbuckle? Uh, rats? Uh, in there? Oh, no. Uh, I saw a lot of cheese, but uh, uh, no rats. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> mm. I can scare them out of here. <laughs> Yawn. Are you quite finished? <laughs> hmm. Not bad. If Garfield needs me, I'm there. Give me a lift. Hiya, Odie. <laughs> it's no use. I wasn't cut out to chase anything that moves faster than a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'd like to stay and listen, but I have to go inside and look for rats. <laughs> oh, oh, just one more aria, please. <sighs> Len, I thought you were going to get out of the restaurant closing business. Squeak, what do you want? I'm a rat. A 
All right, let's you and me have a little vermin to vermin talk. Now listen, change is good. Enough of this. I'm going in to look for rats, and if I see so much as one rat, I'm closing this place down. <gasps> <laughs> What was that complaint about? There are no rats in here. There, uh, aren't? I mean, uh, there aren't, uh, of course. Uh, there has uh, never been a rat in the Vitos Restaurante. Good work, Squeak. How'd you get your friend to go along with it? Well, I promised him 20 huh? pizzas. Yeah, thanks for sharing half your lunch with us, Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look around a bit, but I can tell there have never been any rats in here. Ah, <sighs> Your restaurant is saved, Vito. Whew. Not from bankruptcy. I still have no customers. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe you could get Eddie Gourmand to give you a great review. His new TV show is seen all over the world. It's a worth a try. His show is on right this minute. On my show tonight, people, I'm going to tell you about the most amazing tree in the world! Tree? Who cares about a tree? <laughs> well, of course, you're a dog. But there's nothing about trees I find interesting. <laughs> this is a tree that grows! Wait for it. Lasagna! Lasagna? Oh, I love trees. And I'll tell you all about the lasagna tree right after this commercial. You're not going to stop for a commercial now. All the people waiting to get into Mama Mini's pizzeria. Vito, where are all your customers? Over at Mama Mini's. Where else? <laughs> no, Signor Mini. Vito is not selling his restaurant to you. This is a tree that grows. Wait for it. Lasagna! Lasagna? Oh, I love trees. We now return you to Eddie Gourmand's World of Food. Oh, hurry. Go right to the part about the tree that grows lasagna. I'm coming to you live from a small city in Italy. I'm not allowed what? to tell you exactly where in Italy I am, but it's wonderful here. And the most wonderful thing is this. This is it. The lasagna tree. A tree that actually grows lasagna. It's the only one in the whole world. How soon can we go there? We have a video of them harvesting the crop. Here, you see the lasagna harvest. They have to pick them early in the morning when the buds are fully open. We'll head straight for the airport. I do need to pack. I don't wear clothes. The harvester will decide that a lasagna is not quite ripe yet, so he'll leave it on the tree for a few more days. The rats let us down, Louis. Ah, that's the trouble with rats. They're all rats. They even act like rats. Nope, you can't trust rats. Now, squirrels and... Shut up, Louis. I'm shutting up. We have to shut this place down, and Mr. Mama Meanie will be so... Hey. No pizzeria could stay in business long without its delivery truck. You think you know how to sabotage it? <laughs> sure thing, Gruber. Good, get to work. And when you're done, I'll order us a couple pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best lasagna I've ever tasted anywhere. It's even better than my previous favorite, the lasagna back home at Vito's Pizzeria. Better than mine? Better than mine? No one's lasagna is better than yours, Vito. Uh, but answer the phone. It could be a customer. A customer? It has been so long since I had one, I almost forgot. 
Vitto Spizzeria, Vitto at your service. Hello? How fast can you make five pizzas? How fast can I make five pizzas? <laughs> that fast? Where do I deliver them? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vito will be there faster than you can say, hold the anchovies. <laughs> you want to keep Vito company on a ride, little pussy gatto? Why not? I love the smell of warm mozzarella in the afternoon. Come on, I want to see the crash for myself. Lasagna growing on the trees. The most ridiculous thing I ever heard of. But you saw it. They showed it on TV. And no one on TV ever lies about anything. Unless they're selling something or running for something. Odie, you believe in the lasagna tree, don't you? But it was on TV. If they said it on TV, it must be true. I must somehow get to Italy. I must see for myself this incredible lasagna tree. Lasagna tree. That's the best thing I ever heard in my life. <sighs> ah! Oh no! My brakes do not work! His brakes do not work. That's the worst thing I ever heard in my... <laughs> His brakes don't work! So, we wreck his truck, and then if he does get any customers, he can't deliver! So he goes out of business, and Mama Meanie moves into Shut the... Shut up, Lori! I'm shutting up! They're just ahead up there. Oh, what should I do? <laughs> Try to hit something soft and cheap. Oh, I hope we're not going to do the bit they do in every crummy car chase scene where the car hits a fruit vendor's push cart. Hey. Oh, no. It's one of those crummy car chase scenes where the car hits the fruit vendor's push cart. I was afraid this was one of those crummy car chase scenes where the car hits the fruit vendor's push cart. <laughs> I knew this was one of those crummy car chase scenes where the car hits the fruit vendor's push cart. 51. <laughs> Garfield, do something that will help this situation. Huh? I will. Mm -hmm. Well, if we do crash, you don't want all this pizza to go to waste, do you? Ah! I think there was something to perhaps stop us from crashing. Oh, yeah. Um, that would be a good idea, I suppose. Well, this is an emergency, so how about using a thing called an emergency brake? <laughs> oh, yes, uh, that is one way to do it. Holy, look out! Yeah, I can't see! I got fruit cocktail all over the windshield! Good work. I like the new artificial cheese substitute you're using. We're making the breadsticks out of styrofoam, and for the spaghetti, I'm just boiling twine. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I had fruit cocktail all over my window, and there were bananas flying everywhere, every which way. That's shutting up. Oh. For the 83rd time, no, we are not going to Italy. But the lasagna tree, I must find the lasagna tree. 
Good night, Garfield. You want to go find the lasagna tree, don't you, Odie? Uh -uh. Oh. He doesn't believe it's real. But you do, Squeak. Well, I'm a mouse. We believe in anything that involves cheese. Uh, Eddie Gourmand's doing live remotes from that place I want to be. I'm talking with the chief lasagna farmer here, Nunzio Caparetti. What is the hardest part of lasagna farming, Nunzio? I would say keeping your ricotta cheese watered. It needs to stay up moist if you want to have a lasagna tree. At least Mama Mini doesn't fire us. Hey, well, if we don't close down Vito's soon. And now he wants us to find out something about some sort of lasagna tree. Let's see what they're up to. But I must go and try and find a lasagna tree. But it can't be real. And even if it is, you have no idea where it is in Italy. Italy is a big country. If there is a better lasagna than mine, I must find it and learn the secret. Does the tree grow them sun-dried, Nunzio? Nunzio? The tree somehow creates a tomato sauce, and then I guess the sun dries it. Angelica, that's a Nunzio, my worthless, dishonest cousin Nunzio. Now I have a lead on where to find the lasagna tree. First thing in the morning, you drive me to the airport. I will go there and find the lasagna tree. I am sure of it. And I'm sure we'll be right behind. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after, with more about this amazing plant. Bye for now. <laughs> so, Garfield, if you did go find the lasagna tree, what's the first thing you'd say? The first thing I'd say, hmm... I'm imagining being there, being in front of the lasagna tree, surrounded by lasagna growing everywhere. Here it can be like paradise, and for more reasons than the view. To visit here at any price will make all of your dreams come true. In the land of Italy, women dress so prettily. There is much to fill your heart. Fine museums full of art. People greet you on the street. Genuinely pleased to meet. Buildings filled with mystery. Mankind's home, ancient Rome. It is all history. So if you have time to spend, come to the land where pasta grew. Your trip to Italy, my friend, will make all of your dreams come true. Bella, bella, Italia, bella, bella. So, you didn't answer my question. Huh? If you did come across a lasagna tree, what's the first thing you'd say? First thing I'd say... Hmm. The first thing I'd say would be, uh... Timber! But it looks like that's not gonna happen. Good night, Squeak. Good night, Garfield. Farewell, my love. I will call, all right. I will <laughs> tell you every step of how I find a lasagna tree. <laughs> Who could it be at this hour of the morning? <laughs> Angelica? <laughs> Signor Arbuckle, uh, John, I didn't know who else to come to. I am worried Vito may be in great danger. Huh? I need... He needs your help. Odie? Bow? I may not get up today. There's a lasagna tree on this planet, and I'm never going to get to go there. Never going to get to taste the best lasagna in the whole world. Guys, huh? pack whatever you need to take. We're going to Italy. Yeah. Ah. We are? <laughs> All packed. Oh, wait. I may need to do a little chopping.
talking with the chief lasagna farmer here, Nunzio Caparetti. My worthless, dishonest cousin, oh. Nunzio. We're going to Italy. This is where Vito's cousin used to work? Here is the address. Oh. It must be where the lasagna tree is. When you get the tree, bring it to me here. <laughs> Mama Mini's men are following you. They are? It's, it's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. Nunzio. Mama! Mama, why are you living here with this worthless, dishonest cousin of mine? Oh, Nunzio was like that, but he's changed. He's a good boy now. Maybe he's a reformed. Human beings do change, Vito. Human beings do, but not him. Uh, maybe we should go into the house to discuss this. I'm gonna do another live broadcast to the entire world, telling them about the lasagna tree and you, Garfield. You're gonna be on it. Why does he want me on his show? Do the words world's foremost authority on lasagna mean anything to you? There it is, Louie. Fly us back to Mama Meanie's plant and let's pick up a truck. <laughs> We're gonna steal it and then Mama Scientist can figure out a way to clone it and then Mama Meanie can put every other Italian restaurant in the Shut up, Louie. Oh, I'm shutting up. This is my robotic cameraman. He's my entire crew when I do my broadcasts. <laughs> huh? He beams my splendid face to millions of TV sets and smartphones and not so smartphones. I just press transmit on my little remote here. <laughs> Transmission to satellite started. That's right. Frame a shot that makes me look gorgeous. <laughs> oh, and wait. I need my little microphone. Okay, uh, tell me when we're on the air. Transmission has already commenced. What does that mean? You're on. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> Hello, food fanciers. This is your old pal, Eddie Gourmand, coming to you live from I Can't Tell You Where with more about the incredible, wait for it, What's on your tree? Hurry it up, the tree's getting stale. First speaking with the noted lasagna expert, Garfield Cass. Garfield, you've had a chance to actually taste the lasagna that grows here on the lasagna tree. Mmm. Give my viewers your unbiased opinion. Is this the best lasagna you've ever had? Hmm. <laughs> there you have it, direct from Garfield's mouth, which incidentally has had a lot of lasagna pass through it. I mean, there's a lot. It is the best. Take it from me. My name is Sandy Gormand. I'm a star to be precise. People are very fond of my masterful advice. I'm so wise, I advise every king and far beyond. It's the only way. Heed my words and do not delay. Just do what I say in your work or play. I'm a genius and a fine gourmet. Folks say, Eddie Gorman, we've put our trust in you. They know the power respond with exactly what to do. I do fix, I do tricks, like I have a magic wand. Just do what I say, what my words convey. If you don't, you'll be led astray. Just do what I say, better start the day. I'm a genius, I'm a fine gourmet. If life is in disarray, if things are bleak and gray, rise up above the fray, listen, and then obey. Just do as I say. I'm a genius, and I'm a genius. I'll be right back after this commercial. Blanche, call the advertising department. Tell them not to let Eddie sing ever again. That includes at home in the shower. Yes, Mama. And tell Gruber and Louie I want that lasagna tree, and I want it now. Yes, Mama. I believe they're working on it now. There it is, Odie. 
Isn't it the most amazing thing you've ever seen? <laughs> um, yummy, yummy, yummy. Odie, I think we should combine my two favorite things in the world, food and sleep. <laughs> yes, let's sleep in the lasagna tree. Shh. Oh, I know how to be quiet, Gruber. My mommy taught me how to be quiet. She said, son, you need to be quiet. And I knew what she meant because, shut up, boy. I'm shutting up. <laughs> Come on, boy. I know dogs don't usually climb trees, but you can do it. <laughs> nice work, Odie. We'll nap until it's lunchtime. We'll eat parts of the tree, and then we'll nap in it some more. <laughs> oh, boy. I may never want to leave here. Vito, why can't you believe I've changed? Because I haven't seen you do anything for anyone but yourself, <laughs> ever. Calm down, boys. I love a boo to you. Vito, I taught you to be a fine chef, and you became one. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Annunzio, if not for you, we would not have the lasagna tree and all the wonderful attention it will give to my cooking. Uh, Nunzio is uh, responsible for the lasagna tree? Drive through for burgers. You know, the lasagna that grows on this tree is really terrific. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Mama, how come you don't try selling good food like this in your restaurants, huh? <laughs> I'm shutting up. It is good. Too good. <laughs> Since Eddie Gourmand started uh -huh. broadcasting about it, word has spread throughout the world of Italian cooking. I'll have waffles and uh, more waffles for breakfast. <laughs> hey, what? Where are we? Everyone wants the secret of this great lasagna. And if they get it, my worldwide restaurant empire is in deep trouble. Call in my scientists, tell them to analyze this tree, and figure out its secret. Quiet, Udi. If they find us, they'll be planting us in the ground instead of this tree. I can't believe it. Someone just came here while we were inside, uh, dug it up and uh, took it. We must get it back. Uh, call the police. Ah, uh, let them uh, take it. We can uh, just uh, make another one. But won't it take months, uh, even years, to grow another lasagna tree? We didn't uh, grow this one. I uh, made it. Huh? <laughs> Come on. You didn't really believe a lasagna grows on the trees, did you? Oh, really? Oh, no, not I me. Mean, lasagna I, doesn't grow on the trees. for a second. <laughs> Everybody knows, of course not. I just took the lasagnas her mama made, Vito, and stapled them onto one of the trees here. Then I called Eddie Gourmand and let him in on it. You haven't changed the one a bit, Nuncio. It's all a trick. Another one of your crooked schemes. No, it's a hoax to get attention for a mama's great lasagna recipe. We've had thousands of people call an email. They all want the recipe. And it's so wonderful. When Eddie gives it out on his show, everyone will pay attention. You're just going to give the recipe away? Why not? Then everyone can make a wonderful lasagna. <laughs> it's a just a mama's way to making the world a little bit better. Maybe, uh, maybe I had you wrong, Nunzio. So what I want to know is, where is the lasagna tree now? <laughs> 
the lasagna does not seem to be organic to the tree, Doctor. No, Doctor, these lasagnas, they didn't grow on these branches. They appear to be stapled on. Can you make out what they're saying? <clears throat> Me neither. But we've got to get out of here and rescue the lasagna tree. Uh, then I assume you concur with my conclusion that the alleged lasagna tree is a fake. Uh, yes I do, Doctor. You should go tell Mama Meanie that. No, you should go tell him. 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 We're in some sort of factory where Mama Meanie makes his lousy Italian food. <laughs> Keep pushing, Odie. No, you should go tell him. No, you should go tell him. No, you should go tell him. No, we can't just leave it here. Abandon the lasagna tree? Never. We can't let it get away from us. It's getting away from us. No, you should go tell him. No, you should go tell him. What if we both go tell him? No, you should go tell him. No, you should go tell him. <laughs> it's gone. There's no sign of it. Go tell Baba Beatty the lasagna tree has been stolen. No, you should go tell him. Okay, now what do we do? I don't know either. Let's see what those scientists of mine have come up with. Hey. Isn't that the lasagna tree coming this way? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how to steer a lasagna tree. <laughs> there, that'll keep him out. Unfortunately, it will also keep us in. Lasagna farmer here, Nunzio Caparati. <laughs> My worthless, dishonest cousin, Nunzio. Now I have a lead on where to find the lasagna tree. I want that lasagna tree. You're not going to get in my way. When you get the tree, bring it to me here. My conclusion that the alleged lasagna tree is a fake. But we've got to get out of here and rescue the lasagna tree. <laughs> there, that'll keep him out. Unfortunately, it will also keep us in. They went in there, boss. It's locked. Not for long, it isn't. <clears throat> well, at least there's no way they can get in. Oh. have to hope, Odie. Hope that there's another chapter after this one. They're in there, and they're not getting away. Sooner or later, he's gonna get in here, and he'll get us. But we can make sure he never gets the lasagna tree. By eating the lasagna tree. Come on! Move faster. Oh, 
Woody. I never thought I'd say this, but I never want to eat lasagna again for the rest of my life. And you can hold me to that until... What time is dinner? They ate all the lasagna. Now how are the scientists going to figure out the secret of the truth? Uh, you tell him. Uh, no, you tell him. Let's tell him together. The lasagna tree is a fake. Someone just stapled lasagnas on a tree. That would really disappoint me if I had any plans to ever eat lasagna again. <laughs> oh. So, what are you fixing to do, Mama? It was great lasagna. I want the recipe for it, and I know exactly how to get it. Okay, what is it you want, Mr. Meanie? <laughs> it's very simple. I want the recipe for Mama Capaletti's lasagna. I have your cat and dog here. Do not, under any circumstances, give him the recipe. <gasps> if you want them back, give me the recipe. Under those circumstances, give him the recipe. <laughs> Here you are, Signore Mini. My private recipe for the finest lasagna in the world. But uh, we're going to give that recipe to the entire world. That is why she doesn't mind giving it to him. All right, let the cat and dog go. Come on, Odie. I have an idea, but it's mean and devious, and it's a rotten thing to do to anyone. <laughs> of course I'm going to do it. With this lasagna recipe, I'll be able to drive out of business every Italian restaurant in the world I don't own. Starting with yours, Vito. You are a terrible man, Meanie. An awful man. I agree, and I ought to know. I used to be like you. I don't care what anyone thinks of me as long as I'm rich. If I ever need respect, I can just buy it. <laughs> Well, I, for one, will never respect you. The food in your restaurants is awful. <laughs> Transmission to satellite started. I know the food in my restaurants is awful, but I also know most people are too stupid to know the difference. I keep lowering quality and raising prices, and still those idiots come in and eat the lousy pasta. I Chad, and order what's the this cart. show? I turn on the TV to watch Eddie German, and this enormous, obnoxious guy is on. Did you know my chicken parmesan contains neither chicken nor parmesan? That is absolutely true. My word, this bloke is popping up in chat windows all over the internet. My fettuccine Alfredo contains fake fettuccine, what? and the guy who makes it is not named Alfredo. It doesn't make a bit of difference to my customers. It's that guy with and the annoying commercials, Mama Meanie. And I have the strangest feeling that Garfield has something to do with this. I can serve the lousiest product to people, but if I spend enough money on advertising, they simply eat it up. You wouldn't believe how much money I make selling this garbage. I know. Believe me, anyone who'd eat at Mama Mimi's restaurant has no taste and probably no brains. This is very disturbing. What, did Mama Mimi just confess to the whole world that his restaurants are lousy? Uh, no, that in this whole lasagna tree episode, this was the only scene with me in it. I'm gonna get my agent on the phone. I deserve a spin-off. So, now that I have this recipe, I'll have my staff figure out how to make it cheaper. My goodness! My robotic cameraman seems to be on and broadcasting this all over the world! <gasps> all over the world? Shut up, Mama! I'm shutting up! Too late. Right. to him. Now, before you all get ready, I'm gonna make you the best dinner you ever had in your life. Your lasagna tree, 
very clever and a very good thing to do for Mom. See, I told you I'd have changed. Hey. <laughs> well, that's just about the end of our story. But I've got a few minutes before dinner will be ready, so let me tell you what I think the long-term effects of all this will be. Here, Smiley. Show them what I have in mind. Projecting flash forward. No one who saw that broadcast is ever going to set foot in a Mama Meanie's again. So you can figure that most of them will go out of business. Huh? <laughs> Please, eat here. Haven't you seen our commercials? <laughs> Might as well throw all the food away and close the place. You made that decision at a good time. Here comes the garbage truck. Hiya, Mama. These are the only jobs we could get after you fired us. Yeah, we haven't changed professions that much. We started out hauling your food around, and now we're hauling garbage, which isn't what we always Shut do. up, Louie. I'm shutting up. No, I'm not. We're hauling garbage because your food is garbage. All except for the ravioli, which is trash, and minestrone, which is yeah. junk. And where will everyone go for pizza and pasta then? Why, to Vito's, of course, or to other good little restaurants all over the world. But at Vito's, I see them being very busy. Not too busy to make lasagna for me, according to Mama Capoletti's recipe, but pretty busy. Vito, we need more garlic bread. They may even have to take on more help. Nuncio, more bread sticks to table at 21. Ah, just as soon as I take this pizza to table eight, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> now, you may be wondering, couldn't Mama Meanie have saved his empire by using Mama Capoletti's recipe to make the best lasagna in the world? <laughs> See, he's wondering that too. The answer is no. Nope. First of all, you know Mama Meanie. He wouldn't do it right. He'd use cheap ingredients and cheaper labor. But even if he used the same ingredients, it wouldn't turn out the same. Look at how Mama Capoletti cooks. She stands there all day over the stove, cooking for people she cares about. She tastes the sauce, and to make it perfect, she adds a little of this and a pinch of that. Because it has to be right for her family, for her guests. It sounds corny, I know. But she adds love. And that, Odie, is the secret of great cooking. Huh? And most other things in the world, for that matter. Dinner will be ready in half an hour, everyone. A half hour? That's tough, love. I can't wait a half hour to eat. It's too bad lasagna doesn't really grow on trees. It would come in handy at a time like this when you craved a snack. But I'll let you in on a little secret, if you promise not to tell. Shh. Burritos grow on bushes. Here, have one. Hey, we are all now gathered here as friends and family. All thanks to a little fib called the lasagna tree. On this topic, we all the lasagna tree brought us to Italy. Vito and I now wonder why we let the differences intensify. I am happy that, thanks to Tootie's cat, Mama Minnie's plans have fallen flat. I missed seeing Mama, and I think she missed me. <laughs> Seeing Mama, and I think that she missed me. They were reunited due to the lasagna tree. We're as happy as we can be. Cause the lasagna tree brought us to Italy. We're together as you can see. Let us thank the lasagna tree. It is so special to be with all of my friends. <laughs> oh, I tell you, I watched every. I'm the stars, by the way. Any different the covers you did in the Greeks this time. Any 
Everyone's having such a good time. I hope it doesn't spoil things when they find out I snuck into the kitchen and ate everything for the next three courses. <laughs> and dessert. Oh, you're ugly.